Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Pal World video. Now, if you want to breed, the most important thing that you're going to need is cake and a lot of it. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can have your farm buzzing, booming, and making cake autonomously all by itself. And I'm going to show you how you can do it right here, right now. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, cake, you got to love it. You need it to make those amazing pals. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make an autonomous form so you can get plenty of these cake. Now, you can get cake from these love landers, but only when they invade your base. So it's kind of hit and miss. Well, today, I'm going to show you how you can make that autonomous form. And we're going to be starting off with the very first thing that you need. And that is this lovely pot to make this cake. You see, we got a ton of stuff that we're going to need to farm. But when we have everything going, yeah, it's going to be going. We need flowers. We need red berries. We get plenty of those all around. We need milk. And we also need eggs. We also need this pot. And we need a ranch. The ranch can be unlocked early on under technology. And when it comes to that cooking pot, it's going to be unlocked at level 17. So, boom, there is the pot. We have our ranch, which you're going to unlock super early on. And now we're going to need our flour. Well, how do you get flour? Well, we're going to get flour by getting our wheat and then grinding it in the mill to get our flour. Now, we can get our wheat plantation and our mill at level 15 under technology. So we need to build wheat plantations and we need to build a mill. Now place the mill down anywhere that you like. I like placing it down by my ranch. And also we're going to need that wheat plantation. Now for me, I end up making three of these, which has it buzzing pretty freaking good if I don't say so myself. Now to help with growing, use a level three grower. It will help you out tremendously planting seeds and also a level three water okay if you have both of these you're never going to run out of wheat now check out that video right there this is how you can get leleen yeah it's a boss but it's also a level three grower you can assign it to your base and it will seed these lovely wheat and a level three water will have you buzzing with wheat i'm telling you you're never going to run out of wheat which means you're never going to run out of flour. Of course, you will need some helpers to help you out. And as long as you have that level three boss, Lillian, she's also a level three harvester too. So she'll grow your stuff and then take it right back, which is pretty awesome. Now, when it comes to the cows, this is how we're going to get our milk, right? And we're going to get our egg from the chickens, which chickens, the little chickpeas, they run around all around the beginning level those are easy to find but when it comes to the cows well they're going to be located right over here or right around this location it's not too far from the beginning location but you also need to know where to go if you head under into your pal decks your little pokey decks and this will be the location shown where these moves in air can spawn in where these moves can spawn in so as long as you're over here and I showed you exactly where you can go, there's plenty of them over here. Me personally, I got two. Two chickpeas, basically two chickens, and two cows. If you want to upgrade their work speed, it will help them produce more eggs and more milk. Now all you have to do is head back to your base after you got all your pals and assign them to your ranch. Assign two chickens and assign two of those cows now when it comes to the honey well this is the location where you can form honey there are a lot of these um butterflies that you kill them they want to drop a lot of honey now there also is a worker bee that you can also catch and have it at your ranch that will also help produce honey but i haven't got it yet Right, I know about it, just haven't got it yet. But as far as honey is concerned, if you come over to this location that I showed you right here on the map, there's plenty of these cinnamoths that you can kill and they're gonna drop you plenty of honey. And when you get back to your base, 
you're going to have a ton of stuff waiting for you. A ton of milk, a ton of eggs waiting for you. And your helpers will help pick them up and place them into sometimes your feed box. So just watch out for that. Take them out, put them into your fridge or any other box. Now when it comes to the mill, this is where that wheat, and we're going to grind that into flour. You will need a pal to help you out. We'll need somebody that has a watering level, at least two. Three would definitely help out and speed it up, but two is fine because it goes pretty fast over here. So I went ahead and assigned this dude to help get that flower going. Now that you have a pal assigned to getting the flower going, you pretty much are good to go. Now all you need to do is make some cake. We got a level three grower and a level three water that is taking care of the wheat. We got gatherers that's going to gather up the wheat. And we also have our wheat being grinded over here in the mill. Well, this guy is working on it. All we have to do is gather up the flour from the mill and we can just make our cakes. Everything else is already going to be in our inventory and ready to go. And that is how you're going to make this autonomous cake form. It is pretty freaking awesome. But we're not done yet because there is one more thing that is extremely important and that is making the cake and this part takes a long time if you don't have it set up right but no worries i got your back this is how you're going to do it now me i just whipped out a level three kindler it is a boss yep it's that boss that you can pick up in the end game it's the fourth boss right before the last one and this boss has a level three kindling. And if you use that, it will help speed up the time. It's still not fast, but it's faster than most, <laughs> all right? I'm talking about Marcus and Polaris. See right there, level three kindling, it's still slow, but it's way faster. And that is how you're gonna set everything up. You got your water going, you got your growers growing, you got your guy over there spinning that meal. You got your cows pooping down those milk. And you got your chicks laying eggs. And you got yourself plenty of cake in this autonomous form so you can get after those amazing piles that you can make. So boom, there you have it, my dude. That is how you're going to do it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Now, as always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game. Upload a wide variety of videos. Learning from updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So, if you enjoyed this video, once again, thank you, everybody, for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.